not too high, so big, too great? Who said that? How could I open my mouth and say, Lord, do this for me? Is that not too much? Look at this now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to according to what the power the power that walketh outside in us inside this place there's a power that will move every mountain a power that will heal every sickness. A power that will bring solution to every problem in our lives. Now unto him be glory in the church. Which church? I said in which church? In this church. Now unto him be glory in this church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. And the people of God said... Now I agree with Jeremiah. Lord, you are the almighty God. And with you, nothing shall be impossible. You are the God of all flesh. There is nothing too hard for you. I look at my life. I look at the challenges I face. I say now everything is easy. Because with my God this day, nothing shall be impossible. How about you? Why don't you rise up and tell the Lord, that's what you believe. That's what you believe. That's what you believe. No crying anymore. No anxiety anymore. No worry anymore. There's no fear of anybody under the sun anymore. Because nothing, nothing shall be impossible unto him. He is the God of all flesh. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Look at those challenges in your life. Look at all those difficulties in your life. And just say, Lord, I know. Lord, I know. You can do all things. You can do all things. And nothing is too hard for you. I bring this problem before you. I bring this challenge before you. I bring this difficulty before you. The challenge on my boy. The challenge on my daughter. The challenge on my wife, the challenge on my husband, the challenge in our family, the challenge in the work I'm doing, the challenge in my private personal life. I bring this challenge before you. Here is my confidence, Lord, there's nothing too hard for you. The light is coming on. The day is dawning. The cloud is passing away. The fear is going away. The heaviness of heart is not going away. The sadness, the gloom, everything is passing away. A new day, a new dawn. A new era, a time of joy, a time of happiness, a time of the light, of the glory of God in your life. You see those promises? You see what the Lord said He will do? Rejoice in those promises. Accept what the Lord said he'll do. And your very life over to God. Let him handle everything. The sins of the past, let him forgive. The guilt, the condemnation for evil that has been done, let him take away the guilt. Let him cancel the condemnation. Accept the death of Jesus Christ for you 
on the death on the cross of Calvary and say, Lord, I accept the forgiveness. I accept your salvation. I accept that eternal life. Accept this new relationship with the Lord. Reconciliation with the Almighty God. Lord, I accept. Now there's a new relationship. Now there's a new fellowship. Of the Almighty God. Through the Lord Jesus Christ. Your Lord and your Savior. Accept the grace of God that flows into your life now. And he promises you, he'll write his law in your heart. He'll write his word in your heart. And now in the strength of the Lord, in the power of the Spirit of God, now you can go and live by that word reaching in your heart. Then he says he'll heal you. Accept the healing. He said he'll deliver you. Accept the deliverance. He said even incurable diseases will be healed. Accept. Every yoke is broken, accept. And be established in the truth. Settle everything with the Lord today. Don't go back into the dungeon, into the valley of despair, despondency again. Hold on to those promises that will never fail. No worry. No anxiety anymore because the Lord is still on the throne. You can't give up again, you can't go back again. Don't hurt yourself. Help has come, the solution has come to your problem. Accept, believe, and then praise the name of the Lord that you know that God has done what He promised to do. Praise the name of the Lord that you know. Show gratitude to the Lord for what He has done. Thank him and praise him. The Almighty God, He cannot fail. Now, unto Him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask. Or think by the power that walketh in us unto him the glory in the church through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Hold on to those promises, accept those promises, believe. Those promises that from this very day, 
Things will never be the same again in your life. And thank the Lord for what he has done. Bless his name. He saves. He heals. He delivers. He sets his people free. And he accomplishes what seems impossible in our lives. And today he has done it. And he'll put a testimony in your mouth. Great day. Wonderful day. Great, great day. And as a confirmation of what the Lord said, He will do. A confirmation of what God said, He will do. Stand on those promises, they'll never fail. The promises of God will never, never fail. Stand on those promises. And after the service, don't allow any negative talk to come back to you. Hold on to the confidence you have in the Lord. What He has done, He has done. And nobody can reverse it. And just keep on praising the name of the Lord. For the rest of the week. For the rest of the month. For the rest of the year. Why not for the rest of your life? And stay with the Lord. Don't give in to all the thoughts of the past. Of departing from the Lord. Stay. Stay with the Lord. Great things are ahead of you. That he wants to accomplish. That he wants to do. This is just the beginning. Stay with the Lord. And he has said, I'll continue with you. And you make up your mind, you continue with him too. Make a covenant with the Lord that nothing will break your relationship with the Lord again. Now that you know, that he makes a new covenant with you and he writes his word in your very heart so that now you follow the Lord for the rest of your life. Seal everything with the blood of Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Tell him to give you grace to remain faithful, loyal, committed, and yielded to the word of the Lord, to the will of the Lord for the, for the rest of your life. He'll do it. Yes, he'll do it. Total commitment to the Lord. Never to go back from the Lord anymore. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. And the good church said, yeah. Amen. We're going to pray together. You close your eyes. Everything you have told the Lord, all these minutes we've been speaking to the Lord, I'm going to have everything confirmed. Yeah. Every need is met. Every problem is solved. Every sickness is healed. Every Christian experience, you ask the Lord for the strength to live a righteous, victorious life. It's confirmed in Jesus' name. And the promise you said, you're going to stay with the Lord for the rest of your life. Nothing will break that promise. And now things will become better and better, higher and higher, greater and greater in your life in Jesus' name. No more worry, no more anxiety, no more heartache, no more high blood pressure. And that miracle you said, I've given up. I'm not even expecting it again. Well, I'm expecting it myself. It's going to come. I said it's going to come. And God will give you a pleasant, supernatural surprise in Jesus' name. Can we raise up our hands as we pray together? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you at this time. We know this has been a wonderful day. You've asked us the question and then we've given the answer. You said, is there anything too hard for you to do in our lives, in our families, in our church? And Lord, we say, you are the almighty God, the God of all flesh. There is nothing too hard for you to do. And therefore, we want a confirmation, affirmation of that. Even at this time, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that every mountain and hill will be leveled in our lives, in Jesus' name every demonic oppression and power of darkness i come against them now and i destroy them in the lives of all your people in jesus name that sickness even though the world might have called it incurable there is cure today there is healing today and lord i pray that long-standing sickness be healed right now in jesus name lord i pray for every child in every family that the parents have been concerned about, I pray, O oh Lord, that thing that brings that concern, roll it away now. Amen. Take all the heart aches in the family, take everything away in Jesus' name. Amen. And Lord, those who are still lacking, they, they're looking for this, they've not got it. Looking for that, they've not got it. You promised us there's no lack anymore. Amen. I pray that you supply every need in every life, in every family, in 